and we're good. Okay. What's up, everybody? Clearly something's different here. I got a new camera. I actually got a GoPro. We're going to test this out. But today, I want to do something a little different. I want to show you guys kind of like what I do for a workout since, you know, we've been in this whole quarantine thing due to Corona. Um, yeah, pretty good. it's going to be a pretty easy day. I got some pre-workout here. I've been taking C4 Dynasty. I enjoy it. It's pretty good. It's giving me a good pump. Uh, it's strawberry lemonade or something like that. It's not bad. Uh, Ghost. Aminos, pretty good. Uh, this is the blue raspberry flavor. Uh, I'm actually kind of, I'm, I also like this better than the C4 taste, taste wise. Does that make sense? It's good stuff. But I'm just gonna run through real quick what I do for a workout. How I've been staying in shape, I guess. Hopefully, this doesn't look too bad. I mean, obviously. I'm gonna have to reposition the camera. Just bear with me, okay? I'm not sure exactly how I wanna have it set up for future videos or if I even wanna continue making videos with this camera. Uh, it's just gonna be a trial and error type video, all right? Let's get into it. So, I usually do of like push ups, curls, um, overhead. Like Romanian curls, I guess. You know, where you like have the dumbbell over your head and you're using your tricep mainly. Uh, dips and pull ups on that door frame, usually. Don't get me wrong, it hurts your fingers. I ain't gonna lie, it sucks. I usually go to the field to do pull ups there. So, I'm just gonna give you guys a quick little rundown on what I've been doing, kind of the circuit. I'll just give you guys the first portion of the circuit. And then I'll let you guys kind of determine whether you want to add things or take away things. Also, this book bag uh, is kind of my dumbbell, right? Obviously, I don't have dumbbells here. Uh, I'm in a barracks. And um, I'm not going to have dumbbells sent to me just because that sounds like a pain in the rear end, right? So I have this book bag. I have stuffed it with as many things as I possibly could, including my uh, protein powder. So, I mean, it's got some weight to it. Probably about 25 pounds. 25.30, if I had to really guess. So we're gonna utilize that for curls, the overhead reverse curls, and eventually I'll put it on and do push-ups with that to finish off, okay? So usually I like to start off with doing push-ups. Uh, sorry, I'm checking to make sure everything's in frame here on the phone. So, okay, let's go. Usually I do like 30 push-ups starting off. Normally I'd be listening to music, but I try not to get copyright strikes. I lost track again. We'll call that good. I felt like 30. And then we'll go to curls. We'll do 30 of these. Okay, 30 of those. I'm gonna open up a window, it's getting kinda of warm. There we go. Not gonna lie, I kinda of just kicked my ass. So, anyway, hydrate a little bit.
I mean, honestly, for what I have available to me, I don't feel like this is that bad. Don't get me wrong, I did order some resistance bands. Hopefully I'll get them sometime this week or next week. We'll see. Okay. So we finished off the curls on that last one. So now we're gonna do the Romanian, I don't know how it, so you guys can see this. With the overhead. You want to try and keep your uh, like your bicep. I don't know what this part of your arm's called. Sorry. You want to try and keep this part straight. I just usually do like fifteen and twenty. Honestly, that's, uh, that's probably one of my favorite quarantine workouts. I feel like it works probably the best for triceps, especially uh, if you don't want to do dips or you don't really have a space or place to do dips. Um, I mean, of course, you can always pull up like, you know, a kitchen chair. I'll show you guys how to do like chair dips or whatever. Obviously, this chair is not the ideal type of chair to do dips off of. So, I do my dips on our racks. So I'm gonna pan the camera over just a little bit. So, these bars right here, hold myself up there. Just like that. So, that. The bulk of the workout that I do. Uh, I just do that on repeat. I do three sets, or yeah, three sets of three. So, essentially 90 push-ups, 90 curls with the book bag, uh, 45 with the overarm Romanian curls or whatever and then 30 dips and then if I'm doing pull-ups or if I'm at the field doing pull-ups I'll do honestly as many as I can uh, my pull-ups aren't really that good I mean I can do three sets of ten uh, it just takes me some time between you know sets to do it but whatever and then of course if you want to do abs you can do you know Common setups or whatever. I mean, wall sits for legs, squats. It's all, you know, just easily doable things at home, you know. Just simple squats. That'll get you going, especially if, you know, you can hold the book bag or whatever while you're doing it. That'll work pretty well, too. You know, stuff like that. Just to keep your blood flowing, possibly get a good sweat going. Um, that's the target idea of this is to kind of maybe help you guys to, you know, show you something that you could do to either A, stay busy, B, start trying to work on, um, your own personal fitness, you know, health, whatever, or even if you're trying to, I don't know how to word this, or if you're getting ready to go into, you know, boot camp or whatever, and you're worried about staying in shape, try doing some of the stuff, you know, at home at the MEPS Hotel or whatever you're at, you know, wherever you're at. Uh, the MEPS Hotel actually has weights though, like free weights, it might be closed. I don't know, I'm not there, right? So, that's all I got for you guys today. Uh, hope you enjoyed, hope you learned something. Hopefully I helped you guys out and uh, catch you guys next time. Bye.